Welcome to Day 30 of the Bible in a Year podcast. Our reading today is Exodus chapter 38 through Exodus chapter 40, verse 16. We hope you enjoy today's reading. He made the altar a burnt offering of acacia wood. Five cubits was its length, and five cubits its breadth. It was square, and three cubits was its height. He made horns for it on its four corners. Its horns were of one piece with it, and he overlaid it with bronze. And he made all the utensils of the altar, the pots, the shovels, the basins, the forks, and the fire pans. He made all its utensils of bronze, and he made for the altar a grating, a network of bronze, under its ledge, extending halfway down. He cast four rings on the four corners of the bronze grating as holders for the poles. He made the poles of acacia wood and overlaid them with bronze. And he put the poles through the rings on the sides of the altar to carry it with them. He made it hollow with boards. He made the basin of bronze and its stand of bronze. From the mirrors of the ministering women who ministered in the entrance of the tent of meeting. And he made the court. For the south side, the hangings of the court were of fine twined linen, a hundred cubits. Their twenty pillars and their twenty bases were of bronze. But the hooks of the pillars and their fillets were of silver. And for the north side, there were hangings of a hundred cubits. Their twenty pillars and their twenty bases were of bronze. But the hooks of the pillars and their fillets were of silver. And for the west side were hangings of fifty cubits, their ten pillars and their ten bases. The hooks of the pillars and their fillets were of silver. And for the front to the east, fifty cubits. The hangings for one side of the gate were fifteen cubits with their three pillars and three bases, and so for the other side. On both sides of the gate of the court were hangings of fifteen cubits, with their three pillars and their three bases. All the hangings around the court were of fine twined linen, and the bases for the pillars were of bronze, But the hooks of the pillars and their fillets were of silver. The overlaying of their capitals was also of silver, and all the pillars of the court were filleted with silver. And the screen for the gate of the court was embroidered with needlework in blue and purple and scarlet yarns and fine twined linen. It was twenty cubits long and five cubits high in its breadth, corresponding to the hangings of the court, and their pillars were four in number. Their four bases were of bronze, their hooks of silver, and the overlaying of their capitals and their fillets of silver and all the pegs for the tabernacle and for the court all around were of bronze. These are the records of the tabernacle, the tabernacle of the testimony, as they were recorded at the commandment of Moses. The responsibility of the Levites under the direction of Ithamar, the son of Aaron the priest, Bezalel, the son of Uri, son of Hur, of the tribe of Judah, made all that the Lord commanded Moses. And with him was Aholiab, the son of Ahisamach, of the tribe of Dan, an engraver 
and designer and embroiderer in blue and purple and scarlet yarns and fine twined linen. All the gold that was used for the work, in all the construction of the sanctuary, the gold from the offering, was twenty-nine talents and seven hundred thirty shekels by the shekel of the sanctuary. The silver from those of the congregation who were recorded was a hundred talents and one thousand seven hundred seventy-five shekels by the shekel of the sanctuary. A becker, a head, that is, half a shekel by the shekel of the sanctuary. For every one who was listed in the records from twenty years old and upward, for six hundred three thousand five hundred fifty men, the hundred talents of silver were for casting the bases of the sanctuary and the bases of the veil. A hundred bases for the hundred talents, a talent, a base, and. Of the one thousand seven hundred seventy-five shekels, he made hooks for the pillars, and overlaid their capitals, and made fillets for them. The bronze that was offered was seventy talents and two thousand four hundred shekels. With it, he made the bases for the entrance of the tent of meeting. The bronze altar and the bronze grating for it, and all the utensils of the altar, the bases around the court, and the bases of the gate of the court, all the pegs of the tabernacle, and all the pegs around the court, from the blue and purple and scarlet yarns they made finely woven garments. For ministering in the holy place, they made the holy garments for Aaron, as the Lord had commanded Moses. He made the ephod of gold, blue, and purple, and scarlet yarns, and fine twined linen. And they hammered out gold leaf, and he cut it into threads to work into the blue and purple, and the scarlet yarns. And into the fine twined linen, in skilled design, they made for the ephod, attaching shoulder pieces, joined to it at its two edges, and the skillfully woven band on it was of one piece with it, and made like it of gold, blue, and purple, and scarlet yarns, and fine twined linen. As the Lord had commanded Moses, they made the onyx stones, enclosed in settings of gold filigree, and engraved like the engravings of a signet, according to the names of the sons of Israel. And he set them on the shoulder pieces of the ephod, to be stones of remembrance for the sons of Israel. As the Lord had commanded Moses, he made the breastpiece in skilled work, in the style of the ephod, of gold, blue, and purple, and scarlet yarns, and fine twined linen. It was square. They made the breastpiece doubled, a span its length, and a span its breadth when doubled, and they set in it. Four rows of stones, a row of sardius, topaz, and carbuncle was the first row, and the second row, an emerald, a sapphire, and a diamond, and the third row, a jacinth, an agate, and an amethyst, and the fourth row, a beryl, an onyx, and a jasper. They were enclosed in settings of gold filigree. There were twelve stones with their names according to the names of the sons of Israel. They were like signets, each engraved with its name, 
of the twelve tribes. And they made on the breastpiece twisted chains like cords of pure gold. And they made two settings of gold filigree and two gold rings and put the two rings on the two edges of the breastpiece. And they put the two cords of gold in the two rings at the edges of the breastpiece. They attached the two ends of the two cords to the two settings of filigree. Thus, they attached it in front to the shoulder pieces of the ephod. Then they made two rings of gold and put them at the two ends of the breastpiece, on its inside edge next to the ephod. And they made two rings of gold and attached them in front to the lower part of the two shoulder pieces of the ephod, at its seam above the skillfully woven band of the ephod. And they bound the breast piece by its rings to the rings of the ephod with a lace of blue, so that it should lie on the skillfully woven band of the ephod and that the breastpiece should not come loose from the ephod, as the Lord had commanded Moses. He also made the robe of the ephod, woven all of blue, and the opening of the robe in it was like the opening in a garment, with a binding around the opening, so that it might not tear on the hem of the robe, They made pomegranates of blue and purple and scarlet yards and fine twined linen. They also made bells of pure gold and put the bells between the pomegranates all around the hem of the robe between the pomegranates, a bell and a pomegranate, a bell and a pomegranate, around the hem of the robe for ministering, as the Lord had commanded Moses. They also made the coats woven of fine linen for Aaron and his sons, and the turban of fine linen, and the caps of fine linen, and the linen undergarments of fine twined linen, and the sash of fine twined linen and of blue and purple and scarlet yarns, embroidered with needlework, as the Lord had commanded Moses. They made the plate of the holy crown of pure gold and wrote on it an inscription like the engraving of a signet, Holy to the Lord! And they tied to it a cord of blue to fasten it on the turban above, as the Lord had commanded Moses. Thus, all the work of the tabernacle of the tent of meeting was finished, and the people of Israel did according to all that the Lord had commanded Moses. So they did. Then they brought the tabernacle to Moses, the tent, and all its utensils, its hooks, its frames, its bars, its pillars, and its bases, the covering of tanned ram's skins and goat skins, and the veil of the screen, the ark of the testimony with its poles and the mercy seat, the table with all its utensils, and the bread of the presence, the lampstand of pure gold, and its lamps, with the lamps set and all its utensils, and the oil for the light, the golden altar, the anointing oil, and the fragrant incense, and the screen for the entrance of the tent, the bronze altar, and its grating of bronze, its poles, and all its utensils, the basin, and its stand, the hangings of the court, its pillars, 
and its bases, and the screen for the gate of the court, its cords, and its pegs, and all the utensils for the service of the tabernacle, for the tent of meeting, the finely worked garments for ministering in the holy place, the holy garments for Aaron the priest, and the garments of his sons for their service as priests, according to all that the Lord had commanded Moses. So the people of Israel had done all the work, and Moses saw all the work, and behold, they had done it. As the Lord had commanded, so had they done it. Then Moses blessed them. The Lord spoke to Moses, saying, On the first day of the first month you shall erect the tabernacle of the tent of meeting, and you shall put in it the ark of the testimony, and you shall screen the ark with the veil, and you shall bring in the table and arrange it, and you shall bring in the lampstand and set up its lamps, and you shall put the golden altar for incense before the ark of the testimony, and set up the screen for the door of the tabernacle. You shall set the altar of burnt offering before the door of the tabernacle of the tent of meeting, and place the basin between the tent of meeting and the altar, and put water in it. And you shall set up the court all around, and hang up the screen for the gate of the court. Then you shall take the anointing oil and anoint the tabernacle and all that is in it, and consecrate it and all its furniture, so that it may become holy. You shall also anoint the altar of burnt offering and all its utensils, and consecrate the altar so that the altar may become most holy. You shall also anoint the basin and its stand and consecrate it. Then you shall bring Aaron and his sons to the entrance of the tent of meeting and shall wash them with water and put on Aaron the holy garments. And you shall anoint him and consecrate him that he may serve me as priest. You shall bring his sons also, and put coats on them, and anoint them, as you anointed their father, that they may serve me as priests. And their anointing shall admit them to a perpetual priesthood throughout their generations. This Moses did, according to all that the Lord commanded him, so he did.